the manager of opposition business. My question is to the Prime Minister, and it goes to the extraordinary conspiracy theories the government is advancing in the House as to why Labor is to blame for the government's crisis. Which of the following are Labor's fault? Is it Labor's fault the Leader of the House moved a motion on Monday to refer the Deputy Prime Minister to the High Court? Is it Labor's fault? Can the fault manager of opposition business resume his seat for a second? The member for Goldstein is preventing me hearing the question. He's warned. I've warned him a number of times. You know exactly what the next step is. The member for that was a member for Wakefield, a very familiar voice. You're warned too. Okay. The manager of opposition business will begin his question again. Thanks, Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister, and it goes to the extraordinary conspiracy theories the government is advancing as to why Labor is to blame for the government's crisis. Which of the following are Labor's fault? Is it Labor's fault the Leader of the House moved a motion on Monday to refer the Deputy Prime Minister to the High Court? Is it Labor's fault his deputy yesterday admitted he was a citizen of the foreign power right up until the weekend? Or is it Labor's fault that his deputy's father was born in New Zealand in 1924? The Leader of the House on a point of order. The standing orders are very clear about the responsibilities of the Prime Minister and they don't go to the failures of the Labor Party. The Leader of the House is right, and I suspect the Manager of Opposition Business knows that. The next question, the member for Ford.